The Fishers Fire Department says a man has died after a, quote, tragic incident at Geist Reservoir. News 8's Travis Robinson spoke to one eyewitness about what made this incident so tragic. Travis. And you know, the eyewitness I spoke with is still pretty shaken up after watching a man pulled from the water in his backyard after he went searching for him just minutes earlier. The waters were calm around Geist Reservoir until just before midnight when Sam Edgar saw a woman run up to his door with a flashlight saying something had happened to the man she was with. Went to pull up an anchor and uh, she heard him fall or and go in the water and that's the last she heard of him. Edgar said they went searching for a couple of minutes trying to find the man around a pontoon, but there just wasn't any sign of him. I was just really worried. I, I was... I was just kind of, I was mad at myself. I was looking for him. I couldn't find him. It was, it was just so deep there. I couldn't, I couldn't see. It was dark. It was murky. I, uh, it was just freaking me out. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I was just thinking that this guy is not going to make it if we don't find him soon. Edgar says officers told him someone could go brain dead in that water in just four minutes. Fisher's Fire Department says they were able to get to the water in just four minutes, but then pull the man out of the water three minutes later. By then, it was too late. The department says the man died at a hospital. Edgar says he wishes he could have acted faster and hopes others who have to see a situation like this don't hesitate because just one second can make a difference. It reminds me to be extra careful um, and how things can change so fast. Don't really take things for granted. Um, past 12 hours, been kind of rethinking a lot of things about my life, just thinking more, what more things I can do right. Now, so far, the man hasn't been identified, but as we learn more information about the man and what happened, we'll keep you updated both on air and online. I'm Travis Robinson with TV News 8.